Hello everyone, welcome back to Glitz and Glitter. <laughs> I've got a friend over who wants two of these adorable little octopus. So she's gonna make two different ones today. She's going to fill one completely with sand. And she is a lover of black and white. You've probably seen a lot of her products on my videos that we made some together. So this one is going to be a black and white one. So she has chosen this kind of sand today and we're going to try to achieve a not shiny look on the sand one. We just want it to look like completely sand. So we're gonna mix a very little bit of, of resin into the sand and then pour it in here. Then the black and white one, she did not want it with mica powders for that extra glimmer. So we're going to use the Just Resin pigment paste. So it'll be pure white and pure black. So she's over here mixing her resin right now and we will get the sand in in a minute. So I'm gonna do a voiceover because she did not wanna be talking on the video. She's so shy. So anyway, each of these holds about three ounces of resin. That's if you are pouring resin in Just Resin. So this first batch, we mixed up 80 milliliters of resin because I wasn't sure because we wanted it so jam-packed with sand, which we only ended up using 40 milliliters, I think. So we just took a whole bunch of sand and I had her stir it until it was super thick and kind of chunky because she did not want any shine to this one, which it's almost unavoidable. So uh, we were just going to mix this up until... It couldn't hold any more sand, if you understand what I mean. I guess you'll see what I'm talking about when she's done mixing it. So she's just going to get this mixed up and then start packing it into the mold.
Okay, like I said, it is very thick and it doesn't flow like normal resin would. So she's just going to take her fingers and kind of push it into all these little tentacles because they are so small. So she was very determined and she did a great job and she got every little nook and cranny filled with this sand. So I'm just going to keep letting it go and then once it is completely full, that's all there is to this one. We're just going to let it cure and then demold this one. Right, now that the sand one is completely full now we're going to work on this black and white one so what we did we had 40 milliliters of resin left over that was really heating up and I thought it was going to flash cure because it was waiting for the sand one to be done just sitting in the cup so we took a chance I mixed up another I think 80 milliliters of course we had extra and before that one got too hot which I didn't know it would happen so I'm gonna just share with you our experience so we took the fresh uh, mixed resin which was still cool and we poured it into the heating up resin that has been sitting there for 20 minutes we were able to mix it together for five minutes and it, the flash cure basically went away so we were able to work with this new resin for the normal length of time so here she just split it a little bit in the little white Dixie cup for her white and then the rest of it was the black and we used the just resin pigment paste and she's just getting this a nice opaque color and then she's just going to try to marble it in a little bit. She's going to pour the white in, kind of like I did that uh, marble jar, the black and white jar that actually she is now the owner of. Anything black and white, I already know she wants because her whole house is just beautiful. It's all in black and white. So she's going to try to do that um, technique, but I'm not sure what had happened because I did have to take a phone call, so I wasn't exactly watching over her shoulder. So she did mix it in, but I just think she didn't mix in quite enough of the white into the black because it didn't turn gray or anything I just think she didn't put enough white in so she stirred it up just a little bit and then she started pouring it so because she didn't get the effect that she wanted um, she's just gonna kind of pour a little bit at a time so just take a peek and watch what she does
So right here, I know her hand is blocking the mold, but what she's doing is pouring some black in. But then she's going to go through and she's going to put some white actually before this she put the white underneath the tentacles poured black in and now she's adding white on top or i guess it would be the bottom of the tentacles but i know you can't see it but there is white up underneath all that black so she did add a nice amount of white underneath and just kind of swirled it together then she filled it up and now she's just using the remainder of the white Okay, it's been a couple hours. I had them in the curing machine and we're going to get these out. See what they look like. We're hoping this sand one is not shiny. She did not want to shine to it. That's why we put so much sand in it. So hopefully that is the result we're going to get. And it looks like we were successful. Now there's a lot to trim. I'm not sure how trimming is going to go because it is sand. So that, let me grab a knife and just see. Hopefully it'll come off. But isn't that cute? It's a little bit shiny. But I don't think there's any way around that. We packed as much, or I should say she, packed as much sand as it would hold so ooh, yeah I'll probably have to change my knife after this one so yeah it's gonna be a little difficult so I'm not going to bore you but I just wanted to show you to try to be as clean as you can because the sand is going to take a little bit to trim. Which I knew that, but I thought I had gotten it clean enough. Okay, I will do that later. Let's get this one done. Just be careful getting around these little tentacles. You don't want to break them off. We have no idea what this one's going to look like. We did want this one shiny, so we were going for shine. Oh, it came out good. She's going to be happy. She's not here. Here's the bottom. But yeah, I mean, probably a little more white in the head would have been nice, but actually it's okay. I think it's great. So cute. So thanks for stopping in, guys. I know it was a little different. I had to do a voiceover because she did not want her voice on here, which I understand. I'm glad she let me videotape it anyway. So if you're out there watching, Maria, thanks. Love you. We'll see you later. And I hope you guys all have a blessed day and we will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.